So yeah man, this is how we're rocking today. Starting off the Friday man. We got a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to get done. Uh, I got my weeklies I do today. Um, what's good is I'm gonna, I gotta travel a little bit. I gotta do three lawns with the Hustler here. Then I come back to the old homestead. I drop the Hustler off and I pick up the Bobcat for a couple bigger ones that are local. But yeah, again, a six by is a six by eight trailer. You guys can fit a lot of stuff in these. You don't really need too much bigger than that if you're running with one zero turn. Um, obviously, if you have more than one, you're gonna need a bigger trailer, right? Or if you you know use a stander and a zero turn, or a stander, or a zero turn and a walk behind, you're not gonna be able to fit it. But if you're just rolling with one zero turn, I mean. I would definitely go for the 6x8 over the 5x8, that extra foot. I mean, if this was a 5x8, there's no way I'm fitting in this mower. There's no way. So that extra foot means something. Uh, watch this guy. They're coming to get the garbage. Here, let's see if we can grab these guys picking up the garbage. That'd be pretty cool. Look at this guy. Wow, he's so talented. Watch this. Oh, he's freaking leaving. Unbelievable. And check this out. We're gonna roll today with the Steel 56C. Now, in another week or two, this is going to be going back to the leaf vacuum because we're going to start having leaves. It's a great little tool. It's nothing crazy. You know, it's getting behind some shrubs and some mulch beds and stuff and pick up some stuff that you don't want to kind of rake up or carry back to your garbage cans or if you're going to chuck them in the woods or whatever. You just suck them up real quick. They stay in the bag, and when you get a chance, you can empty the bag out wherever you want. But great tool. I don't even know if they make these anymore, to be honest with you, with this back setup. So this has a little blade in there, a metal blade that chops all that shit up. But yeah, so let's go, man. Let's gas up. Let's gas these up, man. Hey, yes. So before we get our coffee, yeah, baby, McDonald's. Um, you know, McDonald's got buy one get one free, man. But before we gas up, we gotta get some coffee, All right? I need my gasoline. I need my energy before the mowers get it, right? But they're McDonald's buy one coffee get one free. At least where I'm at, so I'm getting two. Let's get two. All right, so we're going to coffee. People like this. Look at this guy. He just got coffee. He got a little. I don't know why. This is the same price. Get the large. You know, get the large. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is for Mo. Look at Mo. See that? You got a free coffee. Where are my things? She was supposed to save me these things. She said come back at 11. Um, Monica. Oh, there she is. That's the woman. What's her name? Monica. No, that's not Monica. That one is Barbie, not Monica. Barbie. Excuse me. Hey Anna. Hi, my Anna. Friend. She's supposed to get the um, bear for my kids. She said to come back today at 11. There's a couple of kids in half. 
You know, she said they're changing them out and she was going to save me a couple of them. Oh. That woman. Yeah. Let's get some coffee going here. What do you say? I want two. Give me two. Remember, I don't know if you remember. Yeah, yeah. My kids going crazy. They, they stamp these things. They love the the talking times. The talking times. Monica, yeah. Where's Monica? Where's my other one? Is it a buy one, get one free? Yeah, you want it now? Yeah, I want it now. Oh, no, you know what? Can I come back later, like you said? Oh, look at that. They're hooking me up. It's buy one, get one coffee free. Yeah. yeah. But I get to come back and get it. She's so nice, old guy. This one, yeah? It was that one and the green one. And the green one? Okay. Yes. Thank you, honey. So nice, you guys. How was the pizza pie? Huh? How was the pizza pie? Did you get pizza pie that I bought? No. She, you buy, didn't? she buy a roll of uh, chicken what? roll. She bought chicken rolls with that money yeah, I gave her? That's fine, yeah. I thought you guys wanted pizza pie. Yeah. The green one. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. They collect these uh, talking toms. They got all of them except two. So they're going to be. Oh, these things don't freaking work. There they go. I'm like, I got one coffee now, and I'm going to get another one here, man. I'm going to get another coffee later. Tonight's the game. Tonight, yes. Yeah, I'll Seven. be there. Thank Seven. you so much, you honey. I appreciate it. Maybe that. I just can because I'm a little boy. Have right. practice. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> You're gonna be there, right? Yeah, but maybe not go for Jeffrey. So, okay, Alex, my little boy, have right. practice. Yeah, Jeffrey can Alex practice. I want to talk to. The, can I text him good luck and everything, or what? He doesn't have his. What's with his phone? He doesn't. It's not you, working. You, you send text Jeffrey. I used to have his number, but then he said he didn't uh, use it. Okay, no, I, I sent text to you. Yeah, send me text. Yeah, send text to you. All right. They got a football game. Look at this. We got them all set up now. They're going to be so happy, man. Yeah. There's not a drop in this thing. Not a freaking drop. No spill. Best can you can get, man. The market. No doubt. So now we're going to put five in there. You guys really like seeing this stuff, huh? Well, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna let you have it. You're gonna see me fill up gas cans and pick my nose, buy coffee, you know? Oh yeah, it's going. It's going. 10 bucks, baby. See the prices here? This is crazy, isn't it? Wow, oh, watch 77. Yeah, baby. My truck is loving it. You know, in the heyday, when gas was $4 a gallon, close to, you know, like $3.79, it's costing me like $90 to fill my truck. Now, it's like 35 bucks. Unbelievable. You don't know how much money that is you're saving. Let's keep these gas prices low.
Thank you. Please come again. All right. It's done. Let me, uh, receipt. Where the hell's my receipt? Yeah, what's up? I just tried to get some footage, man. I got, I really got to invest in a, um, a tripod or something like that because I'm missing some good stuff. But, you know, I'm over here riding this thing. And I've commented a couple times on this uh, Raptor here. Seems to cut so much better with this bagger on. Um, which is not really surprising. Um, you know, it kind of gets the grass out of the deck um, a lot quicker when you have a bagger. So, you know, you kind of sometimes do get that better cut out of uh, a mower when it has a bagging system on but it's it's pretty profound and I can't stress enough man for being a non motorized bagger this freaking thing it's uh, it's, it's it blows my mind it really does um, you know it really makes me second guess um, you know I I don't want to keep this Raptor um, I'm thinking about maybe getting an SD um, a used SD you know people always want to you know comment a lot of people like comment oh yeah SD get the SD and you know all that stuff I mean I don't I just pretty much um, just put some videos up but they seem to want me to get an SD for some reason but anyway I have this bagging system and it is just, it's really awesome. So, I don't know. I, I, I would definitely love to see it on an SD because this is the same bagger that goes on the SD. Um, or at least the uh, SD with the Cowie engine in it. I, I doubt they made any changes to the, to the bagger, but anyway, um, it is just, I, I'm so excited for leaf season. <clears throat> I mean, this thing sucked up everything I try to get a little bit of photo uh, video you, you'll see a little bit of it you can pretty much just get to see me and my and my beautiful face and, and and my body but this was all full of leaves believe it or not I don't know what tree is um, dropping them it was mostly in the back so it must be that yellow one right there but I mean sucked everything up it took everything up so, yeah, I like this bagging system. It is freaking crazy. And, you know, it's not that, I think the motorized system for the Bobcat is the same price as this one, believe it or not. And it has a motor. Pretty sure. You might correct me on that, but um, it's the thing that makes this thing great is it's so easy to put on and get off. It's so freaking easy. Literally, it's I could do it in under 45 seconds. That's how quick it is. And, you know, to have a heavy motor and, you know, I just, yeah. I like I want to stick with this, man. I want to see how it does with leaf season. And um take it from there. And actually, I forgot to put the weights in the front here. And it still handled awesome. It had such good grip. Um it weighs it down so much. I, I wasn't... Sometimes on this property, there's like a little steep hill in the yard. And sometimes my tires start to slide a little bit and, you know, spin out, so to speak. But with this, with the leaves in here, that heavy weight in the back, I had no problem. So, that's another good thing of a bag or two with the weight in the back. Um, with the drive tires, because you got that added weight with the leaves and shit in there. But anyway... Yeah, so, that's about it. I might buy New Jersey Customs uh, SD. You're going to sell it to me, right? I know you're watching. I'm coming to get it. Yeah, when I talk about the bull crap lawns, they're just bad hills, rocks. It's like you need four-wheel drive to kind of... Uh, get over some of this stuff you know you need like snow tires you know stuff like that and you know maybe 
Well, it's got four-wheel drive. I was trying, actually trying to make a joke. Not too good, but, I mean, this is the crap. And this isn't even one of the worst ones, but, I mean, it's just all freaking rock. No grass, crab grass, moss. I mean, this is what I'm running over with this freaking thing. So, you know, again, this has been a pretty, pretty good mower. You know, it doesn't do these nice manicured lawns. Um, I'm sure Morris uh, knows what I'm talking about uh, when it comes to some of these crappy lawns that you got to use these 21, 22 inch mowers for. Um, you know, if I have a nice yard that I kind of have to use, you know, a push mower, say the Time Master or the, the 22 all wheel drive here. You know, I'm going to use the Time Master, you know? But when you got, I mean, you guys don't know how steep this freaking hill is here. It's, it's, you can, can't tell on camera. But it is, like, it's unbelievable. And this thing gets up it, man. No problem. And like I said, it's, it's always flopping around. It's always bouncing. I mean, it, it's been taking a beating, but it's still ticking. I mean, it, I, this is a really... If you're looking for an all-wheel drive mower and hopefully Mo will uh, do a little update on his because I actually kind of talked him into getting this because uh, I loved it so much but um you know he uses it a lot more than I use it I don't even know how many hours this thing has on it just about 32 I still have probably another five ten minutes cutting this so you know 32 hours it's been a rough 32 hours, I'll tell you that. And again, you know, I use them, you know, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So, you know, four to five, four to five lawns an hour. You know, easily this thing's done 100, 120 properties. And, um, you know, it, 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 it does the job, man. That's all I can say. So, that's about it. So, that's going to fill up I've probably got like 20 minutes worth of garbage garbage vlog material for you guys today on Friday and you can enjoy it all weekend long you can you know get yourself some popcorn and some soda pop and you can sit back and watch Supreme and all his crappy blabber and etc etc but all right have a good weekend boys I will catch you next week. All right. All right.